Dembengeni waterfall, Mahova Skruf, Tanini, Limpompo province. Sometimes it's very important to just take a drive and go to see nature. It's very refreshing and entertaining. Welcome to another video. This time around, we decided to take a road trip to Mahova Skruf in Tanini, passing through some small places, even some we didn't. We just saw the junction go the other side. One of the interesting places to visit is Tanini Mahovas Kloof. It is a very very clean road that mostly doesn't have a traffic and it's very peaceful to drive on those mountain and those under Konda road but it needs someone who stick to the speed limit and who really take care and really observant to drive on those mountain as a little problem can cost your life. As you know, we started our trip at Toyando Awanimo. From here, we had three options to choose from. Which road possibly was the shortest one to take? To Tanini and Mahobas Kluf, there is three roads that you can take. The one of Vuani and the one of Malamulele and the one of Louis Richard. If you are exactly at Toyando, the shortest road is Vuani and the longest one is the Louis Richard. Here, yeah, my child, if you take the road of Louis Richard and the road of Malamulele, you will arrive earlier than the one of Vuani, even though on the map is the shortest one. Reason is because the one of Louis Richard has a national road and you're gonna be driving 120 km per hour which will really minimize your time and the one of Malamulele you will arrive earlier than the one of Fuani because it doesn't go through suburbs or location places the one of Fuani it was the shortest one but you will never arrive earlier than those other two because it's passed through suburbs and schools and there's a lot of speed humps that will probably increase your time of arrival and a piece of advice don't really take that road if you are driving a small car as they have a big speed arms and when you take those speed arms you have to take them crossing the road like polo drivers and the guys who drive a lowered suspension car or a stancy car As we didn't know and feel like it's the shortest road, we probably take that one of Vuani and we got humbling experience of increasing time of arrival. I guess here you should be familiar with this road if you are really someone who watch our videos on YouTube. We have passed here last time.
on the right side of this T junction, it is in Kunakral Mall. But we were going straight to Mahoma's Grove. The road was really clean, there was no many traffic. I was just cruising nicely, driving with 120 and 8 km per hour. Another piece of advice, please, if you are not driving a sport car, stick to the road speed limit. Because these small cars driving over speed limit can cost your life. My PA was really happy passing this place because this is middle Litaba Dam. I never thought I was going to pass through them because I never saw it even on the map. And guys, this time we are using a cell phone map. The car doesn't have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Let's little talk about what we are driving today. We have 2024 Volkswagen Polo Vivo 1.4 Grand Line. A hatchback that is powered by 1.4 liter inline four cylinder naturally aspirated engine that produce 55 kilowatts and 130 newtons meter of torque with a 5-speed manual transmission and it got top speed of 171 km per hour and average fuel consumption of 5.7 liter per 100 km and fuel range of 790 km with a fuel tank of 45 liters. When I found out that I will be driving 1.4 liter naturally aspirated with 55 kilowatts, I thought it was very very small for this car as I'm used to drive 77 kilowatts and more than that. But with 130 newtons meter of torque, it makes this car to drive very very well with a very clean and very silent engine and transmission linkage. With Volkswagen saying top speed is 171 km per hour, they mean business. You can drive this car with 150 to 160 without having any problem and still you're gonna feel safe but the car will be moving, moving than 120. I think with the tire inch and the suspension, this car drives very well, very very well and it doesn't even have a noise. You can shift changing from 2000 RPM and even 2.5 RPM. It won't even make a little noise. So far, driving experience of Polo Vivo 1.4 line it's much better for someone who does speeding at some point as this is a very relaxed car to drive in this segment i was so surprised even how this car handles the corners it does it very well you feel safe and you still love driving this car after a 30 minutes or one hour the only thing that you'll be doing is enjoying the driving experience of this hatchback
I just don't know which municipality hold this R81 road. It's very clean and it doesn't have a potholes. Well done to the government and the local government who is maintaining these roads. I was driving nicely and this tire road is very quiet. At some point looking on the side of the road, this reminds me a national road even though it's not a four-way by just cleanness of this road. I still appreciate the local government who is doing a great job by maintaining this R81 road. Here we enter R36, one of the main road to Tanini. This is one of the clean road R30 something. It's very very easy to drive and it's so quiet. When you are driving in this road, you can even see some landscaping. When I say landscaping, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look how the engineer made this road. It's so amazing. They just dig in between mountain and they left that mountain just like that. Look at that landscaping. It's amazing. And the road is clean. You can even see that I was driving like cruising nicely with no mini traffic. Any car that you can find, you just have to pass. It was even so easy to pass it as even oncoming traffic, nothing much. After passing Giani exit, that's where I find another exit of Hapane Hospital and Mujaji's Kloof. I wish I had the time to just exit and go to Mujaji's Kloof and see exactly what do they got with nature. Now it's a story time. Guys, a car without Apple CarPlay or Android Auto is a disaster. We get lost and lost and lost. We got lost three times. I even gave up and leave the destination or a place that we supposed to go, which was Tanini Dam. There was a lot of route to Tanini Dam. Some they are road ended. It's a dead end. Yo, guys, I really struggle. I get lost three times to go to Tanini Dam, where there is an end game. We get lost and lost and lost. And after that, when we are asking people who are around the road, they are telling us the story that we can't understand. So eventually, we did fail to go to Tanini Dam and go straight to Mahobas Kloof in Dembengeni Waterfall. And the road around these places is not really giving. It has a lot of potholes and just know that when you are stuck here, you have to call 
your tour truck as there's no a garage there's no one who will help you you are just in the middle of nowhere with no network of each and every network that you know just make sure when you are passing this place you have a full tank of petrol or fuel or else you will be stuck for days in the road this is mahova Scroof road r71 guys this is the snake road that we know of mahova Scroof, one of the beautiful road to drive at but stick to the speed limit or little mistake will cost your life this is one of the peaceful road to drive and brake taking but it's a really really great road to drive and very peaceful very nice to experience and taking content around this place it was very good experience here we arrived at Dembengeni waterfall but my pa thought we are here excited taking content thinking that it's around the corner Tanti, there is a long way to drive going to the mountain of this place Dembengeni waterfall is not really near the road it's very far you will drive maybe three to four to five kilometers going up the hill straight to the waterfall another piece of advice if you are driving a small car like a small hatchback just drive easy and as a beginner you can really really have some challenges as there's rocks and so on the road is not really clean it needs someone who have experience of driving on the gravel but so far you can go you can arrive at this place it's just a great experience if you are driving with a 4x4 or any off-roader suv here we arrive at the waterfall and the entrance is 45 rand per person while on the tiktok i found out that it was 20 rand i was so angry to, to pay 45 rand my pa was like 45 rand for what for just saying the place 45 friend my pa didn't really really understand the 45 friend but we didn't have a choice we just paid the 45 friend per person and go straight to the waterfall but the waterfall it's really great it's nice place even though we arrive later when the sun is already set to this waterfall but the place it's really nice it's really giving and refreshing just a nice waterfall you can come here and do some picnic you can come with your friends and do um, a lot of things a lot of activities around this place even just coming for a day and cook your meal and eat with your friends drink um it's a really really a giving place for such a refreshing moment stay tuned for more content and if you enjoy watching this content don't forget to subscribe like share and comment support local youtube take care until the next one